Well, I've got a task coming up now. I already started actually, that's why I'm a little bit out of breath, but I've got two tanks and I'm going to, I'm going to refurbish both of those. So I've already removed all the bits and pieces. So the, um, the fuel pipe, um, the sender unit or the level unit, etc, etc, for both tanks. There's the other one. And so the condition of the tanks are, well, to be expected. Paint peeling, a bit of surface rust, etc. And as I said, I've started on the other one. So, so this tank that you're looking at here is a, uh, is a tank from a Series 1. And it's got the level on the top. Sorry, the uh, filler on the top of the tank. So this will be my auxiliary tank. And there are the bits and pieces for it. And I've got the, uh, the original um, tank outside in which I've started sanding. And so that'll be the same process as I've done beforehand with my prep and paint video, which is basically sand all the stuff off. And when I say sand, I'm, I mean using an angle grinder with a wire wheel, and then I apply rust treatment, and then um, primer, and then a top coat. But I'll show you what I've done so far. Right, so as I said, angle grinder with a soft, softer wire wheel. And you can see it's already starting to take off all the, all the crud. This is actually almost beautiful bare aluminium, or sorry, steel. You see how nice and uh, clean that's coming out. And of course, there's the sides that haven't been done yet, and you can see what I mean about it being grotty and, and so on. Now, of course, in terms of safety, I've given these uh, tanks a very, very good clean with the high-pressure hose. Um, and they haven't had fuel in them for God knows how long, years. So I'm, I'm comfortable that I can go ahead and use that on the tank without having to fill the tank up with water. So um, I'll continue with that. But, you know, obviously if you're doing something similar, exercise extreme caution, uh, particularly if the tank's already been uh, used or recently used. Okay, so the sanding or grinding is almost complete. I couldn't get in some, some areas like in here, which I'll have to get to um, with a wire brush, etc. But um, it's actually come out all right. All this dark stuff here is actually the area where the paint was the thickest. There was other areas where the paint just came off as soon as the sander got to it, um, the grinder got to it. So it was a bit of a, a bit of a, obviously a recoat without proper priming and so on. But... She's actually come out really, really nice. The base, again, quite nice. Couldn't get in here, uh, so I'll do that separately again with a wire brush. Likewise with these areas down the bottom here where I can't get to. So on this side, the soldering's okay. A couple of cracks here and so on. But on this side, uh, it's missing quite a bit. now our surface is all dust free etc so the next step will be to apply the rust converter on it's not too much but just around this area here and of course underneath so underneath needs a bit more well that's not too bad probably needs one more clean up and and then I can apply that converter there now one thing I um I'll mention is that when I was using the grinder with the wire wheel on it I was actually being very gentle on this surface so I wasn't actually pushing a lot of pressure down just nice just enough for it to start peeling off the paint uh, so again because it's um, thinner gauge material etc whilst on this one here I was um, 
I was giving it a, mo a bit more uh, pressure because obviously thick gauge, etc. And that's where the, the most of the rust was anyways on these brackets here. So I'm very happy with that. Now the other thing I'll be doing as well is I'll be making a hole here. And that one will be identical to this where there will be a return line for the diesel fuel to come back. But anyway, that's, that's a later job. I'll still paint it first and uh, rust treat it first and all that kind of stuff. So it's all good. But again, very happy. Just a little bit of dings on the top here and there. Kind of expected given that the seat goes there and whatnot. But generally the condition is mighty fine. So I just finished applying a rust converter, uh, which is the same stuff I used before, phosphoric acid. It's going to come out of treat. So now I'm just going to let that dry. And what I've done for the top part, if you will, for the actual tank, is I did apply the phosphoric acid, but then I wiped it out again, wiped it off so it's, it's um, clean. That's why it's got that kind of sheen to it, I suppose. So I wanted to make sure that I got the phosphoric acid into these areas here. It's the only part that I could see that it's really damaged with rust. Just there. But it's not leaking, so that's fine. <laughs> 